Hey guys, Lele here and today I'm going to show you how to play with warriors from level 14 headquarters when you unlock the smoke, smoke screen. screen so guys I will try my best in this video so you can understand what I'm going to say I hope you like it it will be three or four videos I think I will say everything that is necessary to know about warriors and it will help you guys to play much better if you can play now and if someone plays like a god I don't know super very nice maybe he will learn some tricks I don't know and he will become much better so guys First of all, I want to thank you for your subscribes and good comments that you give right in the comment section. It uh, really helps my mood to get better and I can make new videos. It's really nice. So, thank you for your good words and what you write. So, I have the list here what I'm going to do in this video. So, guys, yeah, let's see. Yes, of course. I will show you everything how to avoid defensive building, mines and other stuff in paintings. I will paint for you guys to show you like avoid this boom mine or mine. For every resource uh, for every real player basis that I will go I'm going to attack. I'm going to paint here how to do how to avoid stuff uh, and etc and then I'm going to attack these guys for example this guy double GC I will attack him later guys so you will see how easy it is at level uh, 14 uh, at level 14 headquarters and how easy it is to attack and take down players I am playing now on my second uh, account and it's really, really easy, I think. My warriors are la now level 7, I think, and I'm upgrading to level 8. So no much DPS, but it's kinda easy. Not uh, so much, but you will see, guys. And also, guys, I have Boom Beach Wiki here open. So I'm going to show you some stuff from here too that you must know. So you can think and make your own plans later and how you go to attack, how you what you will upgrade. For, for example, you must upgrade your armory so you can upgrade the boys to higher level. Also you have to upgrade your storages, wood, stone, you know, for your landing crafts and when uh, the capacity of the storage is for gold. Warriors means gold. You need to go to the area. So, first of all, let's go to the Warriors. Here they are. Look at the DPS. My Warriors, I think, level 6. They are level 6, so 112 DPS. Let's calculate some stuff, guys. If I have 212 DPS Warriors, and my masterpiece that I have is. 15% and multiply with that and then do this I divide by 100 so my extra damage for my masterpiece is 32 and then I add 212 so 244 because it's always go one uh, number higher so 244 is my DPS with Warriors, level 6, and with Masterpiece, 15%. Then I have to calculate how much uh, damage I will do, uh, how much Warriors I have. I have 25, 5 landing crafts. So, what I did there, yes, I multiply with 25. So my damage per second with 25 warriors guys 
is 6100 so let's go to the headquarters I think it's here where is headquarters here see level 14 headquarters have 50,000 life health points that means to destroy this headquarter I need like 9 seconds I think let's see what we will get here 50,000 we divide by 6,100 and we have 8 I need to hit this headquarters 8 times level uh, 14 headquarters so since my shock shock bombs are level no they last 7 seconds when they will finish shocking let's say I have one second to destroy the headquarters which uh, will happen because one second I, I won't get destroyed in one second my warriors will handle it so this kind of maths you have to do yourself if you want to see if you can beat the enemy <coughs> base <coughs> so if you attack someone who has 58,000 life and is 15 level headquarters you have to do the same math so let's see 58,000 divide by 6100 nine and a half hits nine and half, almost 10 seconds my uh, as I said my warrior are level 6 and it's kinda low they are not high enough for their level it should be good to have for 14 level headquarters I think level 9 it's okay so what armory I have I must have to make 9 level walls level 12 armory I don't remember which is the level 9 I think I have 11 level armory I will check it later so guys this is the way I do stuff and I was doing this stuff until my warriors headquarters 19, 20 maybe I always go to Boom Beach Wiki see the DPS open calculator and doing calculation before attacks I did this on Dr. Terror if I didn't uh, this calculation I didn't attack Dr. Terror because it was really hard after that task force update if you remember guys when shock launchers and defensive building damage statues show up in this in that new update then it was November I think or October so it was really hard and then uh, you should first calculate then attack I then had level 10 11 warriors it was really hard, th hard then but now it's okay so guys do calculation if you want for yourself see how gold you need for example for level 8 1 million two hundred thirty thousand gold you take gold from daily victory points that border gives you every 24 hours maybe if you are in tax task force you get gold from that too so it's not really that hard maybe to get this amount at least two million maybe a uh, two and a half million three million is harder a little bit for someone who start now so let's go let's go to this to see how we will attack so give me a moment so guys let's see how to clear let's see okay whatever I forget where is this but it's okay I will find it later so this guy has this setup we must first go to the headquarters how I'll go probably I will go from here to this sniper tower and maybe I will sh uh, throw uh, artillery yes here so I think all four of them will be 
blown up. And since I will show one artillery, throw one artillery here, I can go to this sniper tower. It will be in smoke, of course. All my warriors gather, gather here. And then maybe I will go to this mortar and then to the headquarters. I don't know. So if I go here, I need second smoke. Maybe let's do the smoke with red color. So one, two, three smokes. And a flare. One flare, two, and the third flare will be to the headquarters. So we need one, two, three flares and four, let's say five smokes. If I throw one here to avoid this boom cannon. After that, guys, with shock launcher, yes, uh, with shock bomb, whatever, what I will shock? I will shock, of course, flamethrower. Because I will sh uh, throw here the shock bombs. And the second one, if I have energy, for two shock bombs, you need 19 energy. 7 for first, 12 for the second shock bomb. I will throw here to shock this flamethrower and mortar. After that, I think it's not easy to take this base down because it have I think, 43,000 health point. And as I show to you guys, where is the headquarters? 43,000. If we do the maths, we can see 43 divided by. Come on, 43. What happened? Okay. 43,000, we divide 6,100, which is my DPS with 25 warriors. And I need 7 seconds to take it down. I think it's not hard, so I will take it down. This is double GC setup. Let's... Maybe how? Yes, I will... Make new one, and I will throw... The, from here, guys, I have some screenshots. Screenshots. I will show how to attack the next guy. Okay. So, how I will attack this guy? From where? Okay. First of all, where I will artillery? I think if I take this boom mine and this mine, I will throw it here artillery to take out both of them and one artillery here because this boom mine I think my warriors won't step on it if I if I go from this storage stone storage like this to this mortar and from to the headquarters so how many smokes I will use one, two, three, but I will throw it so it covers a little bit machine gun too, maybe. S and the four, maybe five. So let's say five smokes I will throw. If you guys have money, you have you can just throw attack, but by throwing only smoke and flares and see how many energy left, it will be safe this way. And then you can attack for real. So end flares. My flares will be one, two, three. In Wikipedia, guys, I will show you gunboat weaponry. You have flare and flare and smoke screen. How much energy it costs you? You can see here if you are if you are not if you don't know. For example, I know very well how much energy I need. I don't have to calculate but if you want you can I can connect so it lags a little bit. Let's go down and see number of shots. I shot three small uh, three flares and the energy cost is total nine three at uh, 2, 3 and 4 we have 9 energy 
spend to throw three shots. Okay. The same goes for the smoke screen. For example, if you need nine smoke screens, the total energy is 44 that you will spend. In high level gameplay, I spend around 44 energy. I think I need like seven, eight smokes to go to the quarters. Okay, guys. Remember, wiki, Boom Beach Wiki is the best thing. You can see a lot of things there. So, I will attack this Captain Rob too. And I think to make me not make this video really long, I will show you one or two players more. Okay, let's make me one. And the next guy will be. Let's see, maybe. Maybe this one, this guy, his name is, oh, he's Chinese maybe, I don't know. Well, this is kinda easy, I think, nothing to show you, you can go to this gold storage and directly to the headquarters, so, one smoke, oh, sorry guys, one smoke, two, three, four. And you need only two flares, one here and one directed to the headquarters. After that, what you will be shocking? It's easy to understand, it's flamethrower machine guns and this flamethrower with these cannons. This rocket launcher, wait, I will change the color. This rocket launcher can't do anything to you, and this boom cannon will take like two warriors. So it's okay, guys. So to beat this guy. I will show you later. And the next one will be someone hard to beat, I don't know. Let's look and then I will throw him. Well this is, this is not he has boom mines and mines in front the beach so if you avoid Boom mines and mines, it's okay I think to be this guy. Well this is hard I think. But it's not so if you have energy enough to go here, you need one shock. And it's this sniper tower with this flamethrower. Because the other flamethrower can do anything. So maybe this guy I think is hard, so we'll show this guy. Well, which one it was? No, this. Come on. Just this guy. Yes. Let's see. As you can see, he have mines at the beach. I think I will spend energy to take one, two mines. If not, when I will gather them here, I think this is the best place to gather warriors. Maybe I will throw medkit. And then I will go to this machine gun. From here, they can go, someone will go like this to the headquarters. But as you know, sometimes warriors go from the left too. Maybe like from 25 warriors, 10, 10 warriors will go from here. And if your smoke is not, don't cover them, they will take a lot of hits. For example, if you throw smokes like this, warrior at this part will be sh uh, won't be covered and they will take damage. So you have to throw smoke like this. So they can be covered from the two sides. They no, what color? Okay, I will use black color. Throw like this. And maybe a little bit thicker. Yes. It's nice. Something like this. So they can hide in this line. And in this line too they can hide. This area will be covered too. It's dangerous. You can try it one and one time and if you get destroyed. You can try next time better, like from going. Excuse. 
ich mich vor mir Come on, how to clear? I need to clear. Where is this button? I should look first for it. Okay, guys, I think you understand. I will find and I will show you better next time. And this is the Jabe Chill 7. That's how I attack him, I think. Okay, enough, I think. So, guys, let's start attacking them. Okay, guys, now we can attack these players. So, let's find them. I will start with these star guys or Chinese and do like I said. I'm going to go to this storage, gold storage, and then to the headquarters. Okay, taking out warriors, flare, one smoke screen to avoid damage from this machine gun. I will throw only this smoke and let's see. Okay, I didn't lose warriors, it's okay, let's go to the headquarters. One smoke, two and three. Okay, I need 19 energy for two shocks and I have 21. No medkit, but it's okay. So one, two. I think I will take it down. I calculated as you saw, so I won't have problems. Okay. One, two, three lost I think. And I take these guys down. As I showed. Now let's go to the next guy. Nice. next guy will be will be I think Captain Rope I show you I think Captain Rope let's see his base okay yes I remember I'm going to attack him and after that I will show you a little bit my base will I take no, I didn't take Boom Miner. So again, let's start from the beginning. I need to take this Boom Miner. So I'm taking like Boom mine and those Mines. I will leave that one at the left of the, he of the headquarters. I don't have a lot of energy to destroy it too. So let's go to the storage. I think it's okay. We will see that. Smoke screen. And now I'm going to the headquarters by. I hope my warriors don't separate. Nice. 19 energy for two shocks. It's really. Let's see. Okay, I think yes, I'm taking him down. As I show you, I think I show you to go from the little bit right, I go from the left. But we beat this guy too. See, it's not that hard. If you have a higher level warriors, it's even easier. So, the next guy. Well, I, I will show you my statues. 15%. This is nice, 24 I will remove this wood masterpiece because I need gunboat energy and when I will upgrade this one to level 5 I will have two I will place two guardians yes I will have this masterpiece gunboat energy and two guardians it will be okay I will have enough of energy so and I have this powerful chance 40% I want to upgrade my warriors, my landing class to level 14. They are now all 12, except this one, which is 13. And after that, I will have not uh, 25 warriors, but 30. And then I will do my headquarters 
level 16 I will upgrade it and I will have the 7th landing craft which is really important and doing that landing craft to level 14 you have 6 extra warriors which total will have I think 35 no wait a minute yes if I do this landing craft to level 14 14 yes 6 warriors 6 landing crafts 36 warriors and from the 7 landing craft another 6 we have total 42 warriors which is OP with level 11 12 warriors you can do really good stuff so which guy I showed you let me see okay let's destroy the guy next one yes is this guy well I think this boom mine will I will destroy it and then as I show you I will go to the storage I think it's the best option and his headquarters level 14 50 thousand life health points but I have to enforce my warriors give me a second nice let's stack so I'm destroying this Pumai and going to this stone storage ok one smoke screen two Two smoke screens. I will throw another, another two. No, I won't. Ouch! It hurts. Hurts. I think it's the right word. Okay. Shock. Shock. Let's see. And I have can throw artillery. I will throw it. Okay, guys. It's simple. You just have to avoid mines. Avoid mines and you will destroy anyone. At your level at least. When you will have 42 warriors, for example, you will have level 16 headquarters. You may attack level 17 headquarters. They will have one shock lancer in defense, but you have you will have more gumbo energy so you will be okay. That's for now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I will do another 2-3 videos, how to play with warriors, next time I will show you more stuff, comment if you want to see something or ask me, I will show you in the next video, so see you guys later, bye bye.